All right, guys, Red here. There was a Tractor Beam ISC last week, and it was pretty cool, so I thought we'd go over some of the details here really quick. The Tractor Beam looks as though it's going to find quite a stable place within the verse for all sorts of tasks, and the team are looking to add more variances. So it looks like we'll be getting a dedicated Tractor Beam tool, which, going by the size, looks like it'll be able to tractor bigger things. So you probably keep your normal multi-tool plus attachment for doing the stuff that you already do plus some things I'm going to mention later on. And then for some of the bigger things you would use this heavier duty dedicated hand tractor beam. So obviously there's some things that we already know like there'll be a tractor beam on salvage ships for drawing ships in to get munched. But it's looking like they're thinking about remote tractor beams as well for controlling things lying around the environment, like moving cargo aboard, or fuel pods, or mining materials in the pods from the prospector, etc. And then you've got like main ship tractor beams, like on the SRV for actually towing ships. And then they're looking at adding a form of aggressive tractor beam for actually holding and drawing people in for bounty hunting. And it was mentioned, although I'm not too sure how serious they were, that we might be able to move small vehicles around as well. Possibly just very small vehicles, but vehicles nonetheless. For 3.19 coming along, they said that they might be able to segregate some of this tractor beam gameplay and get it in early. And that would be things like item stripping and detaching items like weapons and missiles and modules and attaching them to your own ship or selling them. Obviously, if it's stuffed behind walls, it will still be locked. But this kind of gameplay could be used in missions as well for solving little riddles and maybe add a new twist to some of the existing mission types in the game. This component stripping will be possible on live ships as well, but there will be a key binding being added to the game that will unlock your ship components. So say for example you're working with a crew, you can unlock the components and then someday in your crew can remove and attach components as they please. This removing and reattaching things will also apply to the mining heads and salvage heads and all the modules that can be attached to them. So you can just take a couple of spares or maybe a different mining head and nip outside, yank the old one off and stick a new one on. Same goes for the modules. The rotational controls on the tractor has had a little tweak to make things more intuitive for attaching items. And all this together looks like it will integrate very, very well with the current upcoming mining updates and refueling and the cargo and everything. And it's all very very exciting. To me the interplay between just little things like this and how it affects all the other missions and careers in the game is one of the most exciting things about following this development and I honestly can't wait to see how this plays out. The thought of getting into a fight, patching up your hull by salvaging from your enemy's hull and then maybe swapping out any busted components, it's really starting to sound like the game that I really hoped that it would be. Anyway that's all on that. Thanks for watching guys, remember like and subscribe, remember there's a Patreon, 07. You've seen people say that we rely too heavy on beam gameplay, that everything's a beam, oh, yeah. savage is a beam, oh, yeah. mining is a beam. Actually the internal age look about. is a fucking beam. What do you say to people who say that we're, we're beam citizens? They are right. <laughs> <laughs>